Okay, all right. Got another one of these guys for uh, for the video. Got a different flavor this time. It's the uh, iced tea with lemon. Let's uh, let's crack right into it. Yep, that's it. That's the stuff right there. I already feel this dead husk coming back to life. Okay guys, so I'm sure you recognize the layout of last video. That's right, this is this is a part two to last week's video or whatever the last upload was. It might be a little bit closer to two weeks at this point, but that doesn't matter. Whatever the last upload was, this is the part two to that. Maybe we can title this one, Exposing Robert's Workshop Part Two. It gets worse. But I wanted to make this part two because after the release of the previous video, I, had an overwhelming amount of people just blowing up my phone. I'm out at work right whenever the video goes live and immediately my phone just starts buzzing, 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 buzzing throughout the entirety of my eight hour shift. It was kind of insane. It was kind of insane just to see how many people were responding to this video and how almost all of them were the exact same horror story that I detailed in the last video where essentially people went to buy a prop or several props from Rob's workshop, wound up getting their money stolen by the guy while they walk out with nothing in the end. But I mean, of course, whenever my video goes live, Rob goes on the defensive and he just comes out with, no, I deliver a very good product. Guys, bear with me. I'm probably still going to switch Rob's voice up every time that I do an imitation of the guy. You know, honestly, I think that's a little bit appropriate, you know, considering that there's no consistency with Rob. Now I'm here to provide an update on the entire situation because it has grown astronomically since the last time I discussed it. If you aren't caught up on all the lore, no worries. Lucky for you, I have prepared a brief recap for you right here. Pretty cool. Oh, oh, that's a good part. Yeah. Yeah, that, that one, that one really upset me. Yeah. Cool, all caught up? Sweet, then uh, let's get into it. And if you didn't pick up on any of that, don't worry. You can just go right back and watch the video right here. Link in the card right about here or you know, in the description down below. Go check that out. It provides a lot of much needed context for this entire thing. So picking up where we left off. As you may recall, I made a post on the Batman cosplay Facebook communities. This particular post detailed my experiences with Rob, explaining how I had to wait 11 months to not even receive the cow that I won in his giveaway that he hosted last Christmas. A giveaway that I paid $100 to even enter. So this post included a work in progress photo of the bat suit that I was putting together. And Rob goes in the comments to size, not only just being an all around bully and just nitpicking the hell out of my costume and my progress that I put into it, but also shitting on the work of other fellow Batman cosplay prop makers. It was a mess for the brief two hours that my post was up. But lucky for Rob, one of the admins of the Facebook group was actually someone he's buddy-buddy with. Michael Enoch, who if you're in the Batman cosplay community, may recognize as Hero's Journey's Workshop, formerly known as the Bat and Cat cosplay. So Rob gets Michael to take down the post, resulting in Michael to leave an entire statement that discounts my complaints and many others' complaints with Rob by saying that it was an unwarranted attack against the maker, yada, yada, yada. I read the entire thing off in the previous video. But in the brief two hours that this post was live, I had several people reach out to me, all pretty much just sharing their experiences with Rob, and all of which were pretty much the exact same as mine. They order something, they wait an absurdly long amount of time, and he practically runs off with the money. So because I'm hearing that there are so many more people that are in the exact same position as I am, I decide that I am going to make a video about the whole situation. So my video goes live and it's clear that it resonates with a lot of people. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, my phone was just buzzing constantly for just two days straight. People left and right just reaching out to me, sharing their stories, how long they have been waiting for a product that Rob has never delivered and the absurd amount of money that he has collectively taken from them. And what is it that Rob is doing while my video is going live? Making remarks like this. It could be worse. I could be fat, divorced, and just making capes. Huh. It could be worse. Yeah, you could be bald and have a big nose. But in all seriousness, Rob rears his ugly head to make a personal and disgusting remark like this. I learned that Rob's post was particularly directed at DH Cosplay, a very talented prop maker who I understand is an all around great guy and actually gets his shit out by a deadline. Something that Rob can't do. <laughs> he had thought that they had buried the hatchet months ago. And here's Rob making this just gross and inappropriate remark about another guy's personal life. That has no reason to even be out there. But afterwards, Rob goes back to posting the same old shit as if nothing ever happened. The detective. 
Well, guess what, Rob? It doesn't take the world's greatest detective to realize that you're nothing more than just a bully and a scam. As it currently stands, PayPal themselves have decided to get involved with Rob and hold an official investigation against the guy. Like, guys, our collective outcry has started an investigation against this guy. Like, these are some pretty good steps to actually getting some, uh, some action done against Rob. And while we're on the topic of this particular investigation, I would also like to just mention that PayPal wants to hear from you. If you have dealt with Robert's workshop in the past, whether it's been two months ago, past the refund point of six months ago, 20 years, it doesn't matter. They want to hear from you. So go ahead and call 1-888. Me, God damn it, I just forgot it. So go ahead and call 1-888-221-1161 and then just ask for your call to be escalated to the Disputes and Resolutions Supervisor. At that point, just mention Rob's PayPal profile. You'll probably need to have the transaction number on hand, but at that point you'll be able to explain your entire situation and story involving the guy. Now, while Rob is a really big issue in the Batman cosplay community, he's not the only cog in the wheel. I've got a comment here on my previous video that I think beautifully sort of explains the situation at hand. Robert's arrogance and disregard for customers knows no bounds. I'm not sure if you are aware of this, but several of the large Batman cosplay Facebook groups are ran by Robert's friends. They are actively covering all of this up for him. He has countless customers waiting one to two years who still can't get their order. The admins of a lot of these pages are deleting all posts about Robert because he makes them screen printed material. Not sure if they get a discount or they just skip the two year queue. <laughs> and I bring all this up because as I've noticed, Michael Enoch, the guy who deleted my Facebook post, has decided to get a little bit more hands on in this entire situation. Decided to make a public statement over on his Instagram page, The Hero's Journey Workshop. <laughs> and oh boy, let me tell you, this is a big fucking nothing burger of a statement. Here, let's uh, let's just go right on ahead and uh, watch some of this shit together, shall we? Okay, guys. Um, in the shop today, I've uh, wanted to address something now for a few days and haven't had a chance. I've uh, been kind of dealing with multiple things on multiple fronts, personal, job-related, this stuff. Um, okay, sure. Let's just preface that Michael himself kind of falls into the whole stringing you along for months and months and months before he actually gets an order out to you. From what I understand, he wasn't always like this, but has, it seems, been picking up Rob's habits. Um, and it's just been a hell of a few days, and I wanted to take a moment to um, address something that's been going on. Um, I want to be very measured with with what I say so I have prepared a statement that will be in the caption below. I prepared a statement that will just be try and gaslight the Batman cosplay community into thinking that everything's a-okay with his best buddy Rob. Uh, so feel free to jump down there and read it if you don't want to listen to me talk. Um, but it's just something that needs to be addressed um, in the community. Uh, it seems there's this cycle of drama that surfaces in this hobby and business periodically. Uh, sometimes there's legitimate complaints about makers, their community. Like Robert's workshop, not sending shit out. Seems like a pretty legitimate complaint if I say so myself. Gation, their time frames. Other times it seems there are the usual suspects who like to just stir the pot and target specific makers. Oh my God, I think he's talking about me. By golly, what ulterior motives do I have? I've recently come under fire for defending a maker who has admitted he's bad at communicating and bad at timelines. And while there are people who have had the right to be upset with his timelines of communication, multiple group admins of multiple groups on Facebook, all these different bad groups, agreed that one of the most recent attacks was unwarranted and untrue, and we deleted the posts in the groups. Man, unwarranted, untrue. From multiple admins? You mean Rob's buddies who run all these Batman cosplay groups? Wow, what a coincidence that they would say all this negative shit against him has no ground to stand on. That is just absolutely, what a pure coincidence right there. That's, that's crazy, right? Come on, try to make it a little less obvious. Understand this, I have a lot of experience dealing with many people who have spoken out against this maker, 
both customers and other makers and those who are not his customers and never have been. Is that a reference to Rob saying that I was never a customer or that I was never a client, just a winner, a lucky fella? Is, is that what that's a reference to? And with the totality of the circumstances, knowing much more about many of the incidences in question than the majority of those people joining in on these attacks, I chose to defend the person who was not a- That was a mistake. That was a mistake, Michael. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I get you like dick riding with them, but you don't have to go down with the guy, okay? Who was not only being unfairly attacked in this instance. Unfairly attacked? Uh, I think it's pretty fair for customers, people who you are doing business with to approach you after they've been waiting a fucking year to get their shit that they paid thousands of dollars for, hundreds at the very least, but in a lot of these cases, people are paying thousands of dollars for full muscle suits for like the Ben Affleck styled Batman. Cal's shoulders, bicep armor, the chest armor that Robert Pattinson's suit has, like capes, all this shit, boots. Like, dude, it's not unfair criticism. And these are legitimate things to bring to light and talk about. Uh, but also being attacked on multiple fronts and criticized by others, some of whom have never had business dealings with him. I think again, he is referring to the fact that Rob said on numerous occasions that I was not a client, that I was just a winner. And some who then play the victim when he snaps back at them. You're right. I so played the victim because he said I was an asshole who couldn't wait one more week. Oh, woe is me. Oh, God damn it. Painting him as the bad guy for finally reacting to what in some cases has been years of trash talk and criticism. Maybe we wouldn't get to the point where it's been years of trash talk if the dude wouldn't have us wait years to receive a fucking order. <laughs> There's an easy solution there. Just send the shit out that people pay you for. By that those individuals. Um, there are many makers in this hobby, guys, and that's what this is. This is a hobby. We're artists making stuff by hand. It's my favorite We're not part. businesses producing this stuff in a factory. Therefore, we're human. We don't, we don't operate like a normal business. You walk into Walmart, you, well, maybe not Walmart, but you walk into Target, you walk into JCPenney, and you expect good customer service. I do. Guys, understand that's in a business that has a lot of employees. Most of us are doing this by ourselves or with one or two other people picking up some minor tasks for us. So, so, so don't expect good customer service because we're not a fucking corporation, okay, guys? That's where you go to for good customer service. Don't, we're just having fun with our hobbies, you know, and making some money on the side. I mean, stealing some money on the side. No, no, we're, it, this isn't a business at all. It's just a hobby. So don't expect me to get back to you on a, something that you paid a lot of fucking money to get a hold of. What a load of bullshit, Michael. Jesus Christ, can, I'm surprised you're not just gagging after all the shit that's literally just spewing out of your mouth here. Um. With that comes the good days and the bad. Good people and not so good people. I choose to align myself with good people. That's bullshit right there, Michael. You, you're you aligning yourself with Rob. You, you could have aligned yourself with good people in this situation. You could have just been like, yeah, listen, Rob is my friend. What he's doing, the lack of communication, not fulfilling orders, that that's all not great. And we're gonna do our best to try and hold him accountable and make sure that he gets his shit out. You know, you, you could have stood up for the little guy here, Michael, but you didn't, you fucked that up. You decided to side with Rob because you get some fucking screen printed fabrics from the guy. You're a goddamn joke at this point. Like, come on, dude, grow a backbone. I know that you see what's happening isn't right in this situation. So fucking stand up for yourself and say something for all the people who are getting ripped off by your friend. Oh no, it cost you some screen printed fabrics. You can go to all sorts of other fucking businesses. Oh, I'm sorry, not, not businesses artists who just do this shit as a hobby. You can go to all sorts of different people who provide screen printed fabrics. There's so many different avenues that you could go through, but you just sit behind Rob because, oh, what he makes is pretty and you get a little bit of a deal out of it. Where everyone else is left to get their wallets bled dry by the motherfucker. Even when their bedside manner may need some work, over those who are not the victims they paint themselves to be when they post for you guys, just so they can gain sympathy, followers, engagement, and sometimes sales. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, I am, I'm going, I'm just doing this for the engagement. 
You, I, I totally fabricated all the shit with Rob. You know all those screenshots? They weren't real. I just, I just photoshopped it all. You know, it, none of it's real. Rob's a great guy, and I just wanted to drag his name through the model a little bit because I figured if I went for some fucking high-profile meat there, people would catch the bait, and then I would profit off of it. Yeah, that was my entire motivation behind the whole thing. Michael, you figured me out. I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for Michael and his bumbling pal Rob. My friend offered a heartfelt public apology that came from a much different person than those persons who may have you may have at times used his unintentional missed deadlines poor communication and his frustrated reaction to multiple attacks and criticism as an excuse to generate post engagement we're all just people and as with the real world many people aren't who they are when they are in the public eye that's hilarious you mean like you mean like yourself, Michael? You mean like Rob? That's hilarious that you say that. It's so hilarious to me how this guy is trying to just gaslight any remainder of the Batman cosplay community who are like actually like trying to hold on to like, oh no, Rob's a great guy. And it's primarily Rob and his buddies, let's be honest. Because everyone else is pretty much fed up with Rob and his bullshit. The only ones here putting on some sort of mask, Michael, are you and Rob. You guys are trying to come from the angle of like, oh, we're getting bullied online, yada, yada, yada. But you know, then you forget that Rob makes fucking posts like this shit, that Rob goes on the people's comments and leaves comments like this and this and like whatever the fuck else is on the screen. So no, I would say repeated behavior, that's pretty telling for someone's true colors, Michael. Speaking for four and a half minutes straight while at the same time saying absolutely nothing is just as telling about your personality too. I'll take authenticity over fake any day. I think my favorite part of this video is where at the very end, he mentions that he's going to turn off comments so it doesn't turn into a dumpster fire. So that way, no unnecessary conversations need to be had. It's the exact same thing that he said in that first Facebook post that he made whenever he took down my post against Rob. It's just obvious that the guy is just trying to shut people up and keep people from collectively joining in on being against Rob. And it's not like it's unwarranted. There is plenty of reason. The guy doesn't make his deadlines. The guy doesn't communicate. The guy runs off with people's money and he's an asshole to other people too. And I totally understand being too backed up on orders to get to everything in a timely manner. Like I said in my last video, I don't think I can make a single one of these Star-Lord helmets within the time frame of an entire year to get out to someone, you know, with school and work that I've got going on. As I said to Rob multiple times in our DMs, I completely understand if you don't have the time to make a fully finished cowl and give it away for free. I totally understand that. But the issue is that he doesn't communicate. He, there's no transparency in the matter. I would have been perfectly fine with an excuse like, hey, I am so sorry. I haven't been able to get to it. I'm just so swamped from all the other things. I think I've bitten off a little bit more than I can chew. Like I would be perfectly fine with waiting. And I guarantee you that most people who go to do business with him would have been fine with that too had he been honest up front. But it is just continuous lie after lie again and again. Let's not forget that if the guy sends a photo of any progress that he's been making on a client's build, chances are it is likely a recycled and regurgitated photo from a previous build from ages ago. That's right, folks. Rob tries to keep clients placated by sending pictures from his back catalog of photos. Chances are, if the guy sent you progress photos, it's not actually your order. And a lot of the times when the product finally gets to people, it's subpar at best. I mean, just look at these boot covers right here. They're just falling apart. They were practically only held together by some shitty contact cement. This guy's Gotham Project Cal was so thin in one spot that you could actually see the sunlight bleeding through from the inside. This guy's Gotham Project Cal was smushed into a tiny box after he paid over $700 for it. And this one had gash marks at the edge of the neck piece. Where's the quality control here? For a guy who is so prideful in his work that he can't genuinely admit any faults and be honest and transparent, the result is subpar. One gentleman in particular approached Rob for a fully custom suit commission based off of one of his original characters. And after having to pull teeth out of Rob for eight months to even get the 
smallest response. Eight months of being told that, hey, your suit is about done. I'm going to ship it out soon. I'm just casting molds. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And he's been stringing it along for eight months, saying the same shit. I'm going to ship it soon. I'm going to ship it soon. The casts are almost done. Casts are almost done. I'm doing the cast now. He's been saying all this for eight months. And this is the result. This is the result of eight months worth of work. You have got to be kidding me. I mean, this shit looks like it was just barely glued on there. Like it's gonna fall apart at any second. Another guy I've been in contact with has been waiting over a year and a half for his suit to come in. And he's been trying to get a hold of his suit so he can volunteer at a facility that treats kids with cancer. Thinking of the radio silence that this guy's been going through, you can't help but think that this comes off as a little bit hypocritical on Rob's end. I mean, remember how in the last video, Rob said he had to justify giving something away? Just so everyone knows, because apparently I need to justify why I want to give something away. You're, you're on the right track, Rob. You sound like totally not an asshole. Said giveaway wasn't for likes. I asked for the contestants to donate money to any public cause, specifically a cancer charity. I wanted to give something to those who are in a tough place. The guy just loved the boast so much how all the money that contestants were pledging to enter the giveaway was going to a good cause, and that's why people shouldn't really care whether or not the giveaway was fulfilled. Yet Rob is perfectly okay with making another guy wait a year and a half for a suit that he paid a lot of money for to go visit kids in a hospital. Make it make sense, Rob. Do you not see how fucked that is? And let's not also forget that Rob likes to threaten people. I mean, shit, dude, look at this fucking screenshot here. I'm really looking forward to the day our paths cross. Are you kidding me, Rob? This is the guy that Michael just so adamantly wants to stand up for. So adamantly that he is willing to put everything on the line for Michael and go down with the Titanic if he has to. Like, dude, Abandoned fucking ship already. I just can't state it enough that something has to change within this community And honestly, I think what we have been accomplishing collectively with the video coming out and more people coming out with their stories in light of that I think that we've actually got Rob scared I mean, you've got so many people coming forward now with their experiences. People who actually worked on the Batman have heard about this. We are collectively turning the heat up against this guy and Rob is finally starting to feel the fire that he lit under his own ass. So much so that the people who reached out to me, not, not a ton of them, but like a little tiny morsel, a small little handful of them, have mentioned that Rob has been getting back to them about their orders. So I think we are inciting a change in the community, which I think is absolutely fantastic. I think it is something that needed to happen. Things shouldn't have gotten to a point where Rob needed an investigation opened against him to start getting some shit out to people. I do think that Rob is trying to limit how many orders he takes in right now, because all over on his Instagram page, he announced that he was going to retire his Gotham Project Cal, both the fully finished and the DIY kits. He says he's going to make a more cosplay friendly version of the cowl, which means that the hand stitching is instead going to be replaced with stitching that's molded onto the prop from the get-go. But that only rubs me the wrong way because, um, Rob, what about the giveaway that you were hosting? Remember the giveaway that you put out because you said I wasn't going to get the cowl because I was just an asshole who couldn't wait one more week? Remember the giveaway, Rob, that you said you were going to give every other contestant a free fully finished cowl just to spite me? Remember the giveaway that you then went back on and said that, oh, now there's gonna be three winners, one fully finished and two DIY kits with winners to be announced the following day? That was supposed to be the 15th, Rob, and you still haven't even mentioned or acknowledged the giveaway since. So what happened with that? Are, are these people suddenly not getting a cow? Are you still going to make good on that promise, Rob? Truth be told, I am very doubtful. I think that just because he's contacting people doesn't mean he's gonna send shit out their way. I honestly believe that he is just trying to contact people to try and waver any doubts that they might have developed after watching my video. Doubts that they should rightfully have because they've been waiting an absurd amount of time from the get-go. So sure, Rob is being a little bit more vocal in DMs, but I don't expect him to send anything out. I don't expect him to fulfill the giveaway that he still hasn't acknowledged since he announced that there would be winners declared on the 15th. November 15th for anyone who might get confused because chances are this video gets uploaded in December. I'm literally filming this November 30th, so kind of the last day there. But anyway, I just find this entire situation so ironic. 
Rob, Michael, and all their little admin buddies, they all like to say that they are huge fans of Batman and what he stands for. But the truth is, they are just as corrupt as the forces that the Cape Crusader regularly fights against. I hope that in making these videos, we were able to bring these makers and the cons that they all play to light. And so far, <laughs> it's all working. Uh, plenty of people have come forward to express and share their frustrations and their stories. I have no clue why Michael just blatantly lies in so many of his posts and videos that all of these collective responses are unwarranted. I mean, if that were the case, would PayPal be opening an investigation against Rob? So not only is he trying to gaslight the entire community, but he is also actively dismissing and disregarding all the real people who have something to say. I don't want to ruin these guys' lives. That is not my goal at all, but I do want them to stop lying to the greater cosplay community and be upfront, honest, and take accountability. In the best case scenario, Rob finally delivers through on the plethora of orders he's been withholding. That's the best outcome for all this. The worst outcome, PayPal shuts his ass down and he and Michael go down with it. To further add to the irony in this entire situation, Michael once used social media to rightfully call out shitty business practices of a company that royally screwed him over. Michael got an opportunity to leave his day job behind to just focus full time on making props for a company that was like an authentic celebrity autograph company. Like they would get a hold of props, celebrities would sign them and then they would auction those props off or something along those lines. But either way, Michael had the opportunity to just focus on props full time. And whenever they royally screwed him over and he had to go back to his day job for a living, he rightfully used social media to call out that injustice, to call out that bullshit scam that really screwed him over. But now he's using social media to cover up shitty business practices of a company that his friend runs. It's bad when they do it to me, but if it happens to someone else, I don't really give a shit. Pretty hypocritical if you ask me. Uh, what was that line from The Dark Knight again? Uh, something like, um... You either die the hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Pretty fitting, I'd say. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. I sincerely hope that this video wasn't longer or as long as the previous video. I'm hoping it was quite a bit shorter and more condensed. But I would just like to mention again that if you have dealt with Rob, PayPal wants to hear your story. Whether you've dealt with him three months ago, six months ago, past the refund point of six months ago, two years, three years, 12 years, it doesn't matter, PayPal wants to hear from you. So be sure to call 1-888-221-1161 and be sure to escalate your call to the Disputes and Resolutions Supervisor. I've heard if you don't really uh, escalate your call to that supervisor, they'll kind of just tell you that there's nothing they can do, but if you just get your call to the Disputes and Resolutions Supervisor, they'll be able to add on to Robert's case. And once you get to that supervisor, just mention Rob's PayPal profile. You'll probably need to have the transaction number on hand, but at that point you'll be able to explain your entire situation and story involving the guy. I know that the number is for here in the States, but I would also assume that uh, PayPal in the UK and uh, any other country that you're calling from would likely have a disputes and resolution supervisor. So wh whatever phone number it is that you call or contact through, just make sure you get in contact with that supervisor and just share your story. Speaking of sharing, be sure to share this video or the last one to keep this message circulating. We wanna keep this as alive as possible so that way we can keep Rob held accountable. We have made excellent strides towards victory, soldier. It won't be much longer now till the enemy cracks. At that point, it's Gotham Project Cows for everyone, I assume, unless the guy just runs off, you know, which is entirely possible, but, you know, hey, I, at least we got one player off the board, so win-win, I guess. And of course, keep reaching out. Let me know if you're currently dealing with Rob or recently got a shitty order in from him. Because hey, you could also contest that with PayPal as delivery of a product not as expected. Maybe harder to contest if it's past six months, but hey, it's, it's always worth a shot. So be sure to like the video, leave a comment, all that fun stuff to help boost this video in the algorithm, and I will see you guys in the next one. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, bye!